Veltman and Lalana be part of your plans and, and in the squad? Uh, Veltman, uh, mm, some problem, and Lalana is good. But tomorrow, I decide um, what I what I do. And Matoma back in full training. Will he be part of the squad tomorrow? Or too early. Matoma feels good. Um, he training with us uh, yesterday and to, and today. But uh, the first day of this week, uh, it was um, it, it, he was good. Uh, tomorrow, I. I not decided now the the first eleven because I want to to uh, to see tomorrow. I want to 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 speak tomorrow morning, but we have uh, we are ready to to play in um, Mitoma in Lalana. I hope uh, Beltman too. Five matches now you've had as manager. How do you feel about the start that you've made? Um, I'm happy um, in terms of uh, the performance, the performances, uh, but uh, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I can't to be 100% happy, no, because uh, the result uh, um, were not uh, uh, good for for us. Um, I follow my 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 way, my idea, and uh, I think my players are my players uh, believe in themselves, and uh, this uh, last result uh, couldn't couldn't change uh, nothing in uh, their head. And Graham Potter returns to the club tomorrow. Are you looking forward to meeting him because you've heard so much about him? I imagine. Graham Potter. Um, did a, a very, very good, very big uh, job here, and uh, I, I, I have to to say thanks for the for this uh, this um, this team. But tomorrow I, I must to I must win. I I want to to win the first game because with a uh, we need one one win uh, to change this moment. Because this moment is not uh, bad, but uh, but uh, the result uh, when the result are not uh, good, you are uh, a bit sad, no. And the 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 style of play, the quality of play, the courage, the, the individual skills uh, we showed. Uh, were very, very, very good. What have you made of the start that Graham has had at Chelsea, unbeaten still? Um, but the Champions League, uh, mm, they played uh, well. Mm, I, I watched the game with against Milan uh, in uh, London and uh, in Milan. And uh, against Manchester United, one-one. But uh, Manchester United uh, um, played uh, well. Uh, I think he can have the this my the same problem, no? Because I changed in one month ago, forty days ago, and uh, maybe the the beginning is always stronger. How challenging is it to prepare for a match tomorrow when the other manager knows everything about your players? But the football is not a, not a science. It's not science. And you can uh, you can know everything, but the you can lose the, the same way. Uh, and um, I think uh, I changed something in this uh, in this uh, uh, month, uh, last month, um, and I think we have uh, we are able to 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 play a, a right a right uh, game. Could Tarek Lamptey potentially start tomorrow? He was impressive as a substitute last week. Lamptey has uh, some problem. Mm. Tomorrow, uh, 
I look, I, I decide. How important was it for the club to seal a, a contract extension for Alexis McAllister this week, a key player for you? A great, uh, it was a great news because uh, Alexis is a big uh, player, big player. And um, Alexis with uh, Casado are fantastic midfielders. Um, I, I, I'm, ac- um, I'm lucky to to have this midfielder. Uh, nothing. And final question from me: It's been an interesting few days for refereeing and video technology. Antonio Conte thinks that VAR is damaging the game. What do you make about the impact that VAR is having on football? You had some difficult decisions. I don't Saturday. like. I don't like to speak too much about referee, about VAR, about penalty. Uh, it was. It wasn't. Um, I don't like. Now I, I'm focused to 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 my players uh, to to find the the way to win a game. Because for us it's uh, very important to, to win one game and to and to start um, to play better, but with, without a win is m- more difficult. Thanks for your time, Roberto. With Alexis, how important or how pleasing was it when you arrived to know that you had a midfielder like him, who just always wants the ball, loves the ball. How helpful is that for your system? I love I love midfielder uh, who loves the ball and they keep the ball. And uh, McAllister uh, loves the ball. Mm, Casado too. And for sure, uh, um, we have to improve. Um, Alexis can improve more, uh, like uh, Casado. But Casado, I think, uh, for example, Casado. In these last games, uh, he improved a lot um, in terms of uh, quality of play, uh, in terms of performance without and with the ball. And Alexis too. Um, I hope Alexis can can find um, the goal because he has a, a very important shoot. Uh, and I I want uh, he he shoot more. Mm, he has to arrive to shoot uh, two, three times for for game. Why is he not shooting at the moment? No, I don't know. Uh, mm, it's possible. It was possible in uh, in um, Liverpool the first game, and uh, with Nottingham. Other times I. Mm, I don't remember uh, if uh, it was the possibility to, to shoot for him. Um, managers normally, or managerial jobs, normally become available because a club is in trouble. You arrived here with Brighton in fourth, doing very well. So what was the, the nicest surprise you found when you arrived? The, the sort of the situations you'd been left but without the ball, uh, this is my team is uh, able to 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 be aggressive, to press uh, height, uh, always with courage, with brave, uh, without problems, uh, and this is very important for me because uh, if you watch uh, uh, the game, uh, the last game uh, with uh, City. Uh, the defensive phase was for me fantastic because uh, I never uh, watched the same uh, uh, Manchester City and this is uh, uh, my work but uh, I I must admit that I when I arrived here I I fought one team uh, that knew this uh, this kind of defend this defensive space. Um, last one from me. You had some ni- uh, a nice visit this week, I believe, from some Ukrainian. Were they? Was it Ukrainian children? How how did that go? 
Sì, rispondo in italiano, queste cose sono più preciso. Sì, mi ha fatto piacere ricevere la visita dei bambini ucraini. I was very happy to receive the visits of the Ukrainian children. E sono sempre legato a agli ucraini e all'Ucraina e alla popolazione ucraina. Because I'm very linked to Ukraine and to all the Ukrainian population. E, e quindi vedere questi bambini qua che sono dovuti andare via dal loro paese è sempre, è sempre un dolore, è sempre un piacere vederli perché basta un sorriso di un giocatore o una maglietta regalata per farli sorridere. E to see those children that they had to leave their country due to the situation, of course it's from one side it's a pain because the situation is very tough, the other side of the coin is that it's very touchful, it's very meaningful and it's at least, you know, the smile of the player or to see a jersey, it's really important for a kid who is living such hard time. Good stuff. Thank you. Roberto, um a new contract for Alexis McAllister. Do you hope to get some other players maybe extending their contracts at the club? I'm thinking whether it be someone like Trossard or one of the defenders maybe? Yes, uh, but um, this is not the, the right moment to, to speak about the, the new contract. But in terms of the other players, uh, for sure I, I hope and I would like uh, uh, Trussard uh, will uh, will sign will uh, um, uh, will do the new contract, no. Um, but for the moment, uh, we haven't speak about this uh, yet with the club. In terms of Chelsea players, are there many players that you know from your time, maybe like Jorginho or? The Chelsea individual players you've come across before? Chelsea, Chelsea are fantastic, fantastic players. Um, I know Koulibaly, Jorginho because they they played in in Italia. But not only this, uh, Mount, uh, Everts, Sterling, uh, and Thiago, Thiago Silva, and. A great, uh, a great team. Mm -hmm. You said you were going to tell, uh, well, decide your team tomorrow. Normally, when do you tell your team that whether they're in or out? Do you do that on match day, on Saturday, for example, or do you do it beforehand? When do you like to tell the actual players? Obviously, not us, but the players. The first eleven. Yeah. Mm, the day before, the the more, mm, or depend, mm -hmm. depend. On injuries. Yes, sometimes I, if there is some players uh, in doubt, I wait the, the last moment, sometimes the day before. Mm. And on for home games, the preparation on the day, have you changed anything for that? The way that you like your team to all come together, do they come together to the Amex or how do you prepare your team? Is, have you changed anything since you've come? cambiato qualcosa il giorno della partita i ragazzi che arrivano tutti assieme allo stadio o hai cambiato qualcosa in questa abitudine no eh, io voglio mantenere le loro abitudini le loro tradizioni I want to keep their uh, habits their traditions per me quelle sono contorno for me it's like a side dish e la cosa più importante è lo stile di gioco che, do che dobbiamo avere in campo the main course is of course the way we are we have to play on the pitch o il transfer market or the transfer market e allora lì voglio chiaramente incidere so in that case of course i want to put my hand yeah. the game tomorrow is sold out no tickets available so what kind of atmosphere are you expecting and what are you hoping for at the amex it's always fantastic to play, to work in, uh, in this stadium uh, and I'm sorry for the moment because uh, uh, we, we did one, only one point in two games but uh, I, I hope to win in, in our stadium for, uh, for me, <laughs> for, uh, for players, for team and for our fans because uh, in Manchester they, they were fantastic.